<laughs> YouTube, we're back in business, baby. What's up? As you guys can see, we have the triple XP weekend among us. So we have double battle pass XP, double weapon XP, and double XP towards our levels. So what I have for you guys today is super cool. The fastest way to level up your weapons, a new method, and then also the fastest way to level up your battle pass and your levels using something in multiplayer that I don't think a lot of people have picked up on or noticed, but I got the ways. We're going to jump into some zombies. I'm going to discuss your weapon level XP, what's best for that. And then we'll go into multiplayer and talk about metals and how they give you guys so much XP and how you can go about getting the most in every game you play to level up the fastest way possible period end of story we don't waste any time on the channel gonna jump straight into the good stuff but want to say one genuine thank you for 55,000 subscribers we've got a lot more coming got a long way to go and we're not stopping for nobody so thank you guys honestly from the bottom of my heart it, it means a lot man but yeah like subscribe all that good stuff let's jump straight into the video so all I'm going to be doing in Outbreak is jumping in, playing the first round, hoping that we get a, a defend uh, game mode just so we get the most amount of zombies we can. And we did get a defend, so I'm going to show you guys how much weapon XP and just overall XP I can get from just getting one level with the defend. Now, I would suggest, obviously, just running around killing as many zombies as you can in the first round. And what you guys are going to want to try and do is get a defend, and if not, only play the first round and exfil or exit after this round. If you do not get defend, kill every zombie on the map as much as you possibly can, as fast as you can. Obviously, like everything else, you know, earliest is best when it comes to zombies XP, so playing through the first round on Outbreak and getting a defend making it so so many more zombies spawn and they're coming directly at you gives you an asinine amount of XP. Bones is falling. He's falling. We got him. So all I'm doing is making my way to the defend here. And as you guys can see, I'm almost leveled up already, right? That's like a third of a level in like 10 zombie kills. And I'm level 33. I'm weapon level 33. So we're going to get rid of the zombies first. Um, once we get into the defend room, no matter what map you guys are on, make sure you get rid of these zombies or else they're going to count during the defend time. So just get rid of these ones. Grab this, place that. And kill as many zombies as you can during this time because again remember your weapon XP and overall XP is drastically higher so don't let a single zombie live try to not let the dogs even explode right try and get the dog kills just because it's more weapon XP that you could be getting remember the more zombies we kill the more it's gonna spawn in so chase them down play whack-a-mole a little bit here we're trying to get as many as possible there we go. As you guys can see, once the defend ends, all those zombies are going to die. So get as many as you can. There we go. We just hit level 35. I mean, I'm just coming down the hill from finishing the defend, right? Obviously, when you're running through the round to finish it, just kill the zombies that are in front of you. Um, but we're trying to do this as fast as we can. So get through the round. But I just maxed my weapon level out at 35. And that was from playing for, what, six minutes? That was six minutes of one round of a defend. And I went a level and a half at my max weapon level now holdout is also pretty good the thing is though is it's four minutes and the zombies don't come at you as fast i grab stamina up here just so i can get to the exfil as fast as possible the reason you want to exfil after the first round is you get more zombies as well and it still is inside that round one weapon xp and, and level xp kill the zombies on your way over there again we don't necessarily care about exfilling it'd be nice if we can but just as long as every second you're you're spending is killing zombies, then that's a good thing. Once we get here, there's going to be a ton of zombies, so just get rid of as many as you can. You guys can even try too. If you get the in initial amount of zombies down in your exfil, run back to the massive wave that was chasing you and go through and kill them. Because I still have 55 seconds, right? I want to be utilizing every second I can while I'm in the game mode getting these kills. There's a bunch of them over there by that house, uh, but I only have 30 seconds left, so I'm going to make sure I just get these ones finished up. There we go. Just got it finished up with 10 seconds left there. So we utilized our time as best as we could, killed as many zombies as possible, and then successfully exfilled. Now, you guys aren't going to get a flawless crystal when you exfil on the first round, sadly, but that's the goal. Jump into a game, hopefully get a defend, at very least uh, a holdout. If you do not, just play through the, the round, get through it as fast as you can, kill as many zombies inside the first round as you can. Again, remember, my shovel was level 33 and a half, and I got it to le weapon level 35, plus a lot more weapon XP. If you guys aren't done with your weapon, you would have got a lot more right there. If you get a defend, just kill as many zombies as you can, 
run to your exfil, kill zombies on the way there, get it down to like two or three zombies left, and then go chase back the wave that was chasing you to kill, you know, another 20 or 30 zombies in round one. You'll get a ton of kills in that first round. Now, I know we just went over zombies, but I'm going to go over multiplayer here because I think this is just insane XP, okay? I'm going to use the Street Sweeper specifically because if you guys are trying to level up your account or the Battle Pass, this is going to be the way to go using the Street Sweeper, doing exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to show you guys why this gives you so much weapon XP as well as just XP for your account and your levels. But two things, okay? I'm going to take the Street Sweeper and the attachments I'm going to have on it, the Duck Build Choke, the Reinforced Heavy Barrel because we want effective damage range this time around. We want the SWAT Laser just for the 35% hipfire accuracy increase. It's the highest we can get there. The 18 round uh, drum and then we're going to to take no stock which is 40 percent sprint to fire time and we're not going to take a stim shot make sure you guys just have a flashbang decoy stun grenade things like that it doesn't matter what you take and then just make sure you have gung ho on your class just in case you want to play with it the way i'm going to now in multiplayer we want to be jumping over and playing hardcore nuketown 24 7 and yes that's right we're gonna sweat we're gonna play like the most just absolute scumbag you guys will ever see in your life and there's a very important reason we're gonna do that and i'm gonna tell you guys in the game and after the game so again if you're trying to level up your account in battle pass the reason we're gonna take the street sweeper or shotgun is because we want as many one shot kills headshot kills and kills while we're damaged as humanly possible we want as much as we can now the reason for that is those medals at the end of the game give us a ton of XP. So if we can run around in each Nuketown game and just play as scummy as we can, you guys will be blown away at the amount of XP that we can get after the game. With Gung Ho, we can pull out our tactical and things like that and still use our, uh, our weapon while we're sprinting and hip firing. So super busted if you guys want to use it this way. Don't stop sprinting. Run around the map 24-7. Something you guys can do as well is take a little bit of damage from yourself and then you won't have a stim shot to heal with, so you guys will get that that medal for being damaged when you get kills. Getting multi kills, getting mega kills, getting bloodthirsties, getting quad feeds, all of those things are gonna give you extra XP. So we're just trying. To, whoa, lag. Hello. Trying to get as many medals as we possibly can. That is the only goal of this game. Remember, the higher the streaks you go on, the more XP you're going to get. There we go. Just keep it going. Honestly, we're just spraying as much as we can. There it is. So I was only able to get 53 kills that game, so not a ton. Again, it's just a kill confirmed game. It's going to go by a lot faster. Now, just to show you guys how much XP I get. Remember, I'm Prestige Master, so every weapon level is like 30,000 XP or something like that. Like, it's quite a lot. Right? Okay, here's the important thing about that game. On your medals, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and just go over a couple of them. My one-shot one kills are 100 XP each, and I got 51 of those, so 5,100 XP just in medals in that game. Same with long shots. I got 16 of them. I have 1,600 XP. King Slayer, each of those are going to be 100. Double Kill, each of those are going to be 100. Avenging someone, each of those are going to be 100. Revenge for myself, each of those are going to be 100. You no, know, so on and so forth, right? Triple Kills, 900 XP. Bloodthirsty's 400. Comeback, 300, 300. Merciless is 200, right? Things like that. So the goal of playing multiplayer to level up your account as fast as possible is playing hard Hardcore Nuketown 24-7. You can use a submachine gun. You can use anything you want. And if you're trying to level up your account, it doesn't necessarily matter what you're using. So using the Street Sweeper in Hardcore is just disgustingly broken. I'm going to play one more game, try and get a DOM game, show you guys really the full capacity of XP that you could reap the benefits from in multiplayer. All right, phew. It's a lucky day. We got domination. So I'm going to show you guys what's up. Ready? baby kill chain wait till you guys see how much xp that is all right well since nobody knows how to take b flag on either team apparently we're gonna end the end the, end the half short so street sweeper is disgusting man that guy should have even died from that first shot right there all right we gotta get b or else this game is gonna be very short Another quad feed, more and more and more. Oh my gosh, why are they spawning on that side? I'm depressed. Right, we're gonna try and get B back here. Oh, 
Boys, skip B, please. Alright, I'll do everything on my own, I guess, as usual. Well, we can't quite get the 100 bomb because there's only three people on the other team. I guess they're a little uh, upsetty spaghetti or something. I don't, I don't know why they would be leaving the game the way they are. GG's. 86 kills. Damn it. Should have got 100, man. You guys can just see, right? Obviously, when you put the damage barrel, I mean the range barrel on the street sweeper, it's just, it's disgusting. Like, it has no business shooting that far. And for XP purposes, it's just the way to go every time. No questions asked. Okay, moment of truth, drum roll please. Okay, again, just looking at our levels, I think I leveled up three full times there, three and a half about. And now going back into our medals, we're gonna scroll all the way down, right? We got the 76 one shot kills, so that's 7,600 XP. Same with long shots and king slayers, like we've already talked about. We did get two kill chains, these are bugged, they should be counting as 1,000 XP, but that's Treyarch's fault, but still, 400 XP there, 500 XP on the mega kill, 300 XP on the fury kill. 400 XP on the frenzy kill. You guys get the point though, right? I'm gonna add up all the XP on this page and tell you just how much XP I got that can go towards my account from just medals in one game of domination. So after tallying up everything, the quad feeds, the mega kills, the triple kills, things like that, we have 26,600 XP just coming from medals alone. And again, there's no reason I shouldn't have got more kills in that game. I had three players on the enemy team for probably half that game. But yeah, pairing those two things together, the outbreak strat getting defend or holdouts is just so good with your weapon XP and then leveling up your accounts doing this way in hardcore nuketown, getting the metal XP and just kill streaks and things like that. It gives you so much XP you level up so fast. I didn't want to clickbait you guys and make two videos on the, like the same kind of topic. So I thought I'd throw them in here together since we have the triple XP weekend. I hope this information helps you guys out. Now go out there, grind some XP, get your weapon levels up so you can get those camos, baby. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to discuss anything with you guys. And if you have any other better strategies, let me know because maybe I didn't do something that you did that's better than what I did and I could talk about. That being said, thank you guys so much if you stuck to the end of the video. I hope all this has been helpful. Leave a like if you did. Let's try to get to 1,000 likes on this video. Uh, that'll really help me out a lot and get the video out there. Happy grinding. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Kick some ass if you're just starting it. Sleep well if you're just ending it. We'll see you in the next live stream. See you in the comment section. Love you guys. Peace out.